Hey guys, I'm making this video because the economy has gone to shit. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that people are poorer than they've ever been. Inflation is bad, unemployment is getting higher, the good jobs are all being taken, and there is a fear that AI will come and take your job too. Now, first and foremost, let me just begin by saying that these are numbers, these are statistics, I don't care what your feelings are. These statistics indicate that the majority of people make less than $80,000, only 25% of people make $80,000 or more a year. And out of that, um, most people are still living paycheck to paycheck. Um, so times are very desperate. Things um, Right now, if you have to pay a bill you have to move in you know i bought a pokemon collection i felt bad for the guy i gave him an extra 100 dollars uh he sold me a pokemon collection I, I paid more than i should have i'll put it that way it wasn't an extra 100 dollars. it was just kind of baked into it and he had to move home with his parents he's about like 34 32 around that age and he had to sell his pokemon collection and he had to move home to live with his mom who drove him to the meetup I'm seeing a lot more of this um, economy, if you will. People are desperate to sell, and there are not many buyers. In fact, I get messages, and I will say, hey, now I will buy now. My uh, financial situation is going to be a lot better come October. Uh, like I said, um, I my girlfriend is moving in with me, and you know we are going to um, maybe save a little bit of extra money uh, by living together. Uh, well, I will see if it costs more money, less money. I don't know at this point in time, but it should theoretically cost less money. Again, that is theoretically right. And I think times are really tough. Uh, times are just, you know, rent is going up for a lot of people. Like a lot, a lot of stuff is going up, but your income is basically the same as it always was. So median average income. Um, the question really is, you know, you see these YouTube channels, all the people posting about their $700 boxes of 6.9, which are not now, I mean, it's still selling for way under, if you opened it, God forbid you opened it, it's pretty much worthless now. Yeah, um, who's really able to afford all this stuff? After Lord of the Rings, right, that was a big money sink. There was an individual in Houston who wanted to sell me, like, umpteenth dollars. He opened, you know, let me read you the text, man. He opened a serious, these messages are, like, just so sad. Uh, they're so sad because these are, um, yeah, let me read you the messages. Okay, hey, I'm looking to sell my collection tomorrow tomorrow <laughs> open he opened fifteen thousand dollars worth of universe beyond lord lord of the rings tales of mid earth and trying to gather as much money out of seeing if you were interested and if i can bring it to you tomorrow and then he sent me a picture all packed and put in boxes what's the price you're looking at and that is all do you sell any of it none have sold so he actually bought it from strike zone online um and then i just couldn't buy it yeah he says actually yes i'm a degenerate no just this set well it's six boxes a case that's twenty four hundred dollars so around i opened six or seven cases which cost fifteen thousand dollars strike zone so he bought it from strike zone and then he doesn't want to sell it back to strike zone he bought it for fifteen thousand it's probably worth less than twenty five hundred he didn't pull any serialized numbers. He didn't he didn't pull anything. And that is the sad reality was people were in told to invest in this product. Um, they got addicted. And now there's no way out. Now they have uh, boxes, at least for me, my girlfriend and I, we like enjoying opening packs. Um, my girlfriend and I, we have the same hobbies. We play Genshin Impact, Pokemon Go. We open Pokemon packs. He likes Pokemon packs a lot better than Magic, which is great because uh, I actually haven't bought Magic for a few years now, um, but I still have been buying the newest Pokemon card sets, Ob Oblition, Flame, or whatever the newest sets are. I still have. People are upset. I mean, I'm getting these emails, and I um, many of them from Rudy Patrons or former Rudy Patrons. 
who paid him monthlies, and they're not happy with how things have gone and how things have been presented to themselves. And I know people say, oh, it's your risk. It's your, yeah, it is your risk. But if you actually cared about your subscribers, you would tell them they're in hype, don't buy, save your money, and they can buy the same box. Like for the MetaZoo, for instance, they can buy the same box for 90% less money. Nightfall first edition, right? Instead of paying $500 a box, $499, they could pay $50 if they negotiate right now. I'm sure a store owner would be happy to sell that same exact box for $50 since on TCG Player it goes for $70, $72 after fees. And, you know, if you buy a few of them, it might be worth it for the game store owner just to get out of the game. Um, if you're interested, you know, I'm interested, you know, if you guys want to sell MetaZoo, you guys want to sell these games, uh, just understand that it's not $500 a box. Whatever Rudy Chan sold it to you for, take 90% off. That's probably what I would pay for the box. So for Nightfall First Edition, I would probably pay $40 a box. I don't know if anyone would sell me a box for that, but that's what I would be willing to pay. And I could buy up to... 100 boxes at that price. So right now, it is a great time. If you actually enjoy cardboards, you like opening your own packs, you enjoy having fun with your friends. We had a friend over the other day. Um, so my girlfriend is moving in as of the, the video of this recording, like tomorrow-ish. So by the time this video goes up, it's already, she already moved in. And we're having game nights at my home. We're going to invite some friends. Uh, we have poker nights. We already have poker nights and game. It would just be a lot easier when she lives with me uh, for transportation instead of taking Uber home and stuff. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's going to be fun. We're going to open some magic cards. We're going to open some meta zoo. We will. I will buy the Hello Kitty set just because. Why not? It's cheap. I mean, how how expensive could it be? So my point is uh, very simple. Um, buy the stuff that you give a shit about and then everything else, like, who cares? You know, like, people telling you to buy $500 boxes of Meta Zoo, $500 boxes, dollar boxes of Flesh and Blood, Monarch First Edition of a new, that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. It's like saying, Wilds of Aldrin, why don't you pay $500 box? No. No, I, I'm not going to pay that. But they they dump they pumped and dumped it. They controlled the inventory, and they pumped and dumped it. Anyone selling you a Nightfall first edition booster box for five hundred dollars, which right now is worth seventy on TCG Player, if you're lucky, it gets sold. They were doing you a disservice. I hope you understand. A lot of the Rudy Chan simps are never going to get that. Some of them that do. That one guy, he pumped and he dumped me. Yeah, he got it. I mean, he got it. He's, I mean, he basically said it out loud. And he was like, wait. Oh, yeah, that's what happened. Anyway, bye, guys.